Okay, Robert Eagleson here with the uh, Calgary Hook and Hackle Club and today we're going to do the Project Hopper. So I think this hopper may be called a Project Hopper because it is a bit of a project to put together. So, um, this fly, <clears throat> you need the stamp, the Project Hopper stamp. Um, it's a set of stamps, uh, three stamps. One of them will stamp out the body. Looks like that. One of them stamps out a pronotum, which is the piece here that holds the wing down. It will come in a uh, stamp that, you know, will stamp out your material like that. And then it comes with a upper leg stamp. So it will produce a piece like this. So you've got a slight more of a rounded head on the bottom of, than you do on the top. And you just simply turn that over. Then there are left and right legs. So you'll need to stamp them out this way and then flip your stamp over and stamp it out the other way to get a left and a right leg. So with these legs, what I like to do is I stamp them out and then I will glue a piece of silly leg on the bottom just using super glue. I've never had an issue with that coming loose. Uh, the original pattern calls for sticking a, a needle through and threading a piece of rubber leg. I don't care for the rubber leg. It breaks down in the sun. Silicone does not. And I've never had a problem with these coming loose. Okay, so once you've got your pieces stamped out then, what you need to do is take your scissors and we'll just start shaping this. So we'll clip off that piece that helps you get it out of the stamp. And then we just simply take scissors and knock off all of those hard edges. If I can get around in front of the camera here. Just knock off all of the hard edges from the uh, from the piece of foam that we're using for the body. I'm just going to round those edges off. Don't need to do a lot, but quite a bit. Okay, um, on the back side of this foam now, the underside of the foam, I'm just going to take my scissors and I'm going to make a little line about a third of the way down. Just to give me a bit of a reference point. Then I'm going to take my scissors, I'm going to come down into the back here and I'm going to try to chop that off so that it ends right about that line. And that's pretty good. So I've just kind of just kind of chopped that off to give it a bit of an upper edge coming up here. Now once I've done that, again I've got those hard edges that are where I just cut. I'm just going to take those hard edges off. Just round those Cut edges just a bit. Okay, once I've got that now, it's somewhat round. I'm going to take my uh, um, lighter and I'm just going to heat that up just a bit and then just roll it and that will further help to uh, round up some of those edges. So there we go. I've got the body now. So now what I want to do is right about where I had that, you know, the one-third mark. I'm just going to take a pen and what I'm using here is a uh, an olive colored Sharpie and I'm just going to make a little bit of a line right about there and then I'm going to go up here and here, and I'm just going to give it yeah, 
all I'm trying to do is get some some texture in there and then on the back I'm just gonna do some segmentation here original pattern calls for that just on the bottom but I'm gonna bring it up the sides as well and over the other side here we go got a little bit looking uh, <clears throat> grasshopper pattern here all right now I don't know how important this is I'm taking a micron um, what is this 005 marker and I'm just going to I'm just going to put a, a line just right down behind those it just gives it a little bit more of an accent and I'm absolutely sure this is more for the fisherman than the fish I think it just accents those segmentations a bit more. So, not sure how important that is, but we'll go with that. Alrighty, so got your body made now. Let's uh, let's get this out of there. We're gonna put in a so I had this. Project Hopper pattern I'm using is a size 10 stamp. I like to use a size 8 hook. So I'm using a Tiemco 200R and a size 8. I am using uh, 6 on 140 denier thread in a size, oh, sorry, in a color is called a Hopper Yellow. Looks a little bit loose. Tighten that up. Okay, I'll find my scissors and I'm just gonna clip that excess. All right, so got my thread on there. I want a pretty good thread base. In fact, I'm gonna spin that thread because I, I want that round instead of flat. And I'm put some spaces in there because I, I'm going to use some super glue and I want that glue to seat very well into that thread. Okay, so I've got my hopper body here. I need to mount it on the thread. So I'm going to take a razor, razor blade and I'm going to put it right in the middle of that fly and I'm going to slice it down. I'm about halfway through there. And I'm going to slide it on my hook and I want to make sure this thread is in the right spot and it's too far forward. So I'm going to move my thread back and spin it tight again. Move my thread back and check again. Mm, you know what, I could come back even a little bit more. Okay, so I want my uh, eye sticking out in front, and that thread's in about in the right spot right now. So I'm just going to take it off. I'm just going to find my super glue, and I'm just going to give it a ooh, lots and lots of glue on there. Take a bit off. All right, slide my hook on there one more time. Make sure I don't get that eye covered. And then I'm just gonna bring my thread up. 
give it about three good cinching wraps there. All right, we're going to let that dry for a minute. And we're going to take a look at our legs. So, again, the project here. So, um, stamp out your legs. Glue on a piece of silly legs on there for the bottom, left and right. And then I like to take my uh, 005 micron marker again. And I like to draw just a little bit of texture on those legs. Um, so I'm just going to hold that down with my thumb fingernail. Bear with me. I'm going to draw a line right down the middle. And once again, I am sure this is more for the fisherman than the fish. So what I end up with then is a leg with a little bit of, uh, of texture on it. So what I have here is a left leg. So I'm going to just roll this over. And I'm going to hook a leg in there. Oops, lost it. So I want to cock that a bit so that it's in the water. So I'm just going to try to position that so that I can catch the tip. Just about like that. A couple snug wraps. Move over. Try to find my right leg. I will put that in there about the same angle and I will catch that with a couple wraps. Now you can see these legs are splayed out way too far. So we're going to fix that with a little bit of super glue. So we'll put just a drop at the base here and just a drop at the base here. And then we'll just position those so that they stay where they're supposed to be. All right. Once you've got your legs in there, we're going to bring our thread up. I'm going to skip it ahead. And another couple wraps in there. <laughs> now, we need a wing. So for the wing, I am using um, Widow's Web in a uh, silver color. Uh, poly yarn would work equally as well. So prep your wing. You don't need an awful lot here because we are going to double it over, but you want to bring it about to the end of the body. So let's give that a wrap or two right there. And then we're going to fold it over and try to catch that. Catch that wing right there. Alrighty, find my scissors and we can just clip that wing off about body length. And now we need um, uh, the pronundum. So we will find that and clip off and because I've clipped that off I'm going to have a white spot right there so I'm just going to take this marker again and just color that so it's not white 
And then we will tie that in with the point coming to the back. Oh, you know, before we do that, I'm just going to put a drop of super glue right there. And pronundum. There it can be a little tricky to get that exactly right. All right, and now I need some legs. And I apologize, I have to find my um, have to find my silly legs. So silly legs. I would more I would use the same color as the back end of the as the bottom end of the back legs. So what I've got here is uh, Silly Legs Barred Sand. Use my scissors and I'm going to clip off a few of those. Okay. So I usually do the back first. So I will just Hold it, I gotta look. Uh, bring that up on the other side. Let's have a look, it's a little bit high. So, let's we'll just bring that down just a touch, right about in there. Give her another wrap. And then we'll do our near side legs. Clip that off. And then we are just going to find our whip finisher. And we'll give that about a 3-4 turn whip finish right there. Alrighty, so these legs, hopper legs typically are fairly short in the front, so I was going to clip those off. That's plenty long, a lot of movement there. Um, okay, um, if you can give this fly a little more color if you like, you know, just by adding some spots or Or leave it alone. For the eyes, and I think the eyes are important, I like to use this, um, it's a 3D paint, th fabric paint in uh, black. So I'll roll this over and I'm going to find where I want my eye. Just give it a bit of a squeeze and out comes my eye. Okay, now I like to take my bodkin and just knock the points off of those eyes. That's pretty good right there. Okay, so what do we got here? So this is the Project Hopper. It's for sure my new, my favorite hopper. These legs 
uh, should stay in place with the super glue. Again, I've never had them come loose. I really, really quite like this hopper. Um, anyway, thanks for watching.